Hi guys, welcome back for another replay, and uh, this one again is from BlizzCon. Uh, there were so many games that's released for BlizzCon, and so many of them had just... Actually no, every single one of them had just top tier players. It's just... There are so many games, and uh, I'm just picking random games to cast, as I, I want to get, you know, um, a good mix of uh, different players. So uh, this game is going to be between Next Genius, who's from Korea, spawning as the Blue Protoss of, on Steps of War. His opponent is going to be White Rat, spawning as the Red Protoss at the bottom left corner of Steps of War. So this is going to be uh, Europe versus Korea, as uh, both Protoss, I mean White Rat, definitely one of the, or Ductile Red, uh, one of the top, top uh, European uh, the, um, Protoss players, uh, if not the best. And his opponent, Next Genius, not, um, I, I think, I don't know, between him and Tester, uh, it's a pretty pretty good toss up there. Um, but he is a very good um, Korean player, uh, Korean Protoss player as well. So this is, should be a pretty interesting match as uh, we'll see what both players does. And as you know, uh, for PvP, really the... Um, the robotic facility is very important because they do they just they're so effective against Protoss uh, with the Colossus or the Immortals. And a lot of times what we see is a 4 gate versus a 2-3 uh, gate robotic facility. And depending on which player was faster, that that the outcome you know, that's how you could decide it. Um, but we'll see what happens here as there is a probe uh, both probes are going out for a scale for both players. So they're opening with pretty much the same thing. Even the timing for the scouting are the same. And right now we are seeing, we are seeing the same build, and which is really not that surprising, as uh, both are you know uh, both are Protoss players, and they're of the highest caliber. And usually Protoss openings are pretty similar, um, not unlike you know Zerg openings or actually not uh, uh, Terran openings could be different. So the gateway is done for both guys, and we should see probably a cyber crew coming down pretty soon here for both players. And there we go, he uh, genius putting down the cyber crew, and so does Wyra. So both guys are opening with the same thing, and both uh, skipping that zealot, I guess, wants to go with a stalker. And uh, this guy <laughs> for Wydra is working on the pylon, and the same thing over here. Yeah, actually, the, actually, this probe did steal five minerals. And the second gateway getting, getting plotted down here by Wydra, and now we're going to see the same thing over here for Genius, as he is going to put down the second gas uh, instead of the gateway, but uh, we should probably will see a second gateway pretty soon anyway. As a two gate plus one robo is a pretty good opening uh, for a PvP or a, I guess PV anything. So he's still on one base, I mean one base, one gate right now. Uh, gonna get a soccer out for Genius and Y Rock getting the second gateway. But uh, I mean, this probe, I mean, he knows what's going on. So he does have a probe in here. Uh, so really, nothing should come off as a surprise. As there we go, a second gateway on the way for Genius. Um, so both, are, I mean, still are pretty much the same thing as a warp gate is on the way for both players. Not really getting kernel boosted. I think a genius saving that kernel boost for something and uh, gonna kernel boost the sentry instead. Uh, the stalker going around to try to spot any kind of a cheesing or proxy pylons. As we do have a probe uh, going to put down a, a, a pylon, which is pretty normal. And look at that going around just to trying to spot any kind of nearby pylons uh, early in the game, which is a good idea. So two gates are both making stalkers right now for a Wyra, and by the look of it, I mean he's pumping out nothing but stalkers. Can I can only think he wants to go with blink stalkers as that, but I don't know if he will. But I mean, just by the, the early early build here, I mean look at that, he's pumping out another stalker, so he's gonna have four stalkers pretty soon. And he does have a pylon over here as well as Wyra, I guess, wants to make a pretty early push here. And right now, stalkers and sentries coming out for genius, and a third gateway going down as well. And really, just stock of enough for Wyra. Uh, I mean, uh, with this many stalkers, uh, he probably could, uh, he should be. I mean, I think a blink stalker uh, on the way shouldn't be that bad. But he's not really putting down a Twilight Council, which is, I mean, if he's still not putting it down right now, it's pretty delayed. So I don't know what he's trying to do here with more stalkers. And warp gate is done as well. Maybe he wants to make a two gate push as. Uh, Right now, there is a probe coming out. Oh boy, the stalkers are going to kill that probe actually. So, right now, he is going to warp in. There we go, more stalkers as well. And now, one more gateway going down. And now, the probe is going to lead the way here as a nice force field is going down there. And that's the thing with this uh, a very early push without blink, you can't really get up the ramp because of the sentries. And the genius should be the holders for a, for a while here as he is getting the robotic facility. 
And the uh, same as Waira, so Waira is going to go with the eventually going to be a 3k plus a robo. And the same thing on the, happening at, the, at the, this end as 3k is already done for Genius. And his robo was started earlier as well. So we will see what he can do here. As uh, the, I do believe both players are going to pump out Immortals most likely. I mean, uh, as you know, Genius did see a lot of stalkers by Waira. And um, I mean, Waira did see a lot of stalkers and sentries by, by Genius. So. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to see Immortal first before the uh, Observer, but actually no. An Observer is coming out for Genius, getting Kernel Kernel boosted right now, so he does want to see what is going on in the uh, front of his base. Right now there are 7 Stalkers. So White Riot does have his own uh, his own robot facility and actually playing on the eBay right away as he wants to go with Colossus uh, right now and not even making an Observer at the moment. Actually no, he is actually Supply Block right now. So, uh, Paladin is almost done, and now actually both players going for the Robo Bay, as I guess both players want to get the Colossi, and this Observer did see the Stalkers in the front, and so he's going to push out as he does have the advantage here, so these guys need to run back really fast, and a couple Force Fields trying to trap him, but really not making the making a good, uh, good Force Fields, because they didn't really trap anything. So still, Wyvern, I'm surprised he didn't make a, a Observer, I guess he's trying to save up for the Colossus and the Thermal Lance at the same time. So the Observer is going to come in here for Genius, and he is going to see the same thing uh, in his opponent's base as uh, his own base. So it's going to be come down to a uh, who has the better micro, I guess. As right now, Thermal Lance is on the way, and a Colossus is on the way as well. And again, getting uh, Wyra again getting Supply Block right now. He is the pilot is finishing, so just block for a few seconds there. But I mean that few seconds, few seconds could make a pretty big difference as the Colossus was started first by Genius. And his Thermal Lance is started as well, as a Chrono Boost should be going on, on the Thermal Lance, as it is, is not right now. So we are going to see a pretty similar build here. Both players 3k uh, one Robo versus 3k uh, one Robo, and both are making Colossus. And uh, I guess with this kind of start, are both are just, it's going to come down to Micro. As right now, ooh, actually, Warrior put down an expansion that is going to hold him up uh, as the army count. It's not going to be as high with that expansion going down. So right now, we are seeing a pretty even number, but... Um, if Genius uh, tends to, actually no, never mind, Genius got his own expansion as well, so 35 over the 31 probe count for the favor of Genius. Uh, so both players going for an expansion, I guess that's about 3 minutes of downtime, as uh, Thermal Lance are almost done for both guys, and really, wow, these guys are just building the exact same thing. Uh, gonna be a mirror build here, so the fight should be pretty close. Uh, you know, whenever that happens. And right now, both guys' army count are very even. Uh, this is a pretty interesting game here, as uh, this Observer, I think, is making a huge difference right now, because Waira uh, does not know what's going on in uh, Genius' base, but Genius knows exactly what's going on in Waira's base. And that could play a pretty big role here, as uh, he is able to spot everything with that Observer. And we do have more Colossus on the way as well, so this guy is actually patrolling, just trying to see everything. Now what's going on here? We do have two classes right now. <laughs> uh, this pylon getting spotted there, so that pylon is going to go down. And uh, there we go, it does go down. So now Wyro is moving out with two classes, and the army count are pretty even. Um, but there are two classi, and there are two classi. Zealots, Zealots, and Stalkers. Uh, the army count are pretty much the same, except actually Genius does have two sentries, and that could make a difference. I mean, they could put down force fields, however, force fields that get crushed by the classi. So White Red is not going to push in there actually, so he's going to go back to his base and trying to macro uh, a bit more here. So uh, we're, we're just seeing just pure Colossus coming out right now out of the robotics facility. And White Red once again uh, getting supply block for a few seconds as the pylon is almost done. Uh, there we go, finishing the pylon right there. As both guys are just in the middle here trying to face off and uh, another proxy pylon in the middle. Three side for White Red, three side for uh, Genius. This this army mix, it's just pretty much the exact same thing. And all these guys are moving, now the class is getting, uh, kind of, or the class I, uh, getting kind of flanked there as they were in the back and taking a lot of damage, and now the Zealots are going to face up in the front, oh my god, laser beams everywhere! Uh, and uh, I can only imagine that the Zealots are going to get killed by both laser beams, there's so many, and one, oh my goodness, one class I going down for Wyra, that is definitely not good, as uh, that could make a pretty big difference. Now all the class I going down, and I do believe Genius uh, is going to take this, because, just because of the fact that the classes for Waira did all die, and now definitely the three class I left are going to kill the Stalkers without a problem. Now there are four coming on the way, and Waira knows his fate as he does GG there. So a nice flank 
uh, there by Genius as uh, he did. I do believe focus down to Colossi first as they do. They are the most dangerous and look at that four Colossi uh, left going into wide road space. There's no way he's going to hold that off with uh, pretty much anything. Um, so a uh, nice game there. A very uh, nice nice last battle there as uh, Genius with the better, uh, the better micros. Let's see. APM. And actually, oh, wow. <laughs> and there, that might be the difference. It's uh, 233 versus 127 for White Red. The more, you know, the more action per minute there for uh, for Genius as he did micro. I guess uh, more intensively. Look at that, 334, uh, 364 at the end there. So nice game. And uh, Zen setting off.